Good evening guys from our next video here in Baghdad, Iraq. I'm here traveling with my buddy Luke over here. Yo. Catching some footy over there. In today's video guys, we're gonna be taking a train from Baghdad, Iraq down to Basra, which is in the southern part right near Kuwait. I wanna fill you guys in on basically what just happened over the last couple hours that we weren't able to film now and now we are. So when we first arrived, we like rolled up filming and it kinda you know caused the, the military to question like, oh, what's going on? And then after some communicating with them, even though they didn't really speak any English, we uh, became really good friends with them. In like a couple hours, they invited us to have some delicious meals with all of them. These are experiences you can't get on TripAdvisor. Happened to find ourselves at a train station here and uh, we're invited with these very nice people here in the military. Oh, food's coming up. And now we're trying out the little yellow curry sauce. We're gonna dip her in there, that's falafel, that's naan. And we're gonna give her a nice big old bite here. Here we go. Mm. 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 Mm -hmm. yeah, YouTube. Mm. 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 YouTube.
Luke's Luke's loaded up, grabs everything in the store. And I had a feeling when we walked in, like with their kindness, like how nice they've been to us, like getting us food, making sure we get the sleeper train tickets, basically just watching over us from the second we arrived here a couple hours ago. I had a feeling they might try and pay for it, but like we were gonna, of course, not let them. And uh, we get up to the counter, they put it all in the bag, and uh, they will not accept a single dollar or single um, Iraqi dinar. So it was just like super, super nice of them. But we tried, honestly. But as Luke was just saying, I, his, I tried a lot because I grabbed half the stool. Half the stool. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. It was nonstop, and so now we're waiting here for a little bit longer till we actually get on the train. But uh, it has been a uh, just a day to remember. This is such a cool travel experience, and. I don't know if I, I got cut off when I was saying this earlier, but like, I don't know, I feel like I've seen some other vloggers who basically just show it as like, it's very intimidating here, but like here you approach people with smiles, make, maybe make some jokes when it's in the right setting with them. And you know, they're very appreciative to have us foreigners here from my experience so far, both in Kurdistan and now here down in Iraq proper. Obviously I'm only about two or three days in. Oh. Captain. Oh, now we have the captain over here. So who, know, who knows what's coming up next? We're being taken care of so much here. So we'll be showing you guys the train once we head over there in about an hour, hour and 15. So we're uh, we're meeting the captain here and uh, they're taking care of. Salam alaikum. Salam. Thank you very much. Thank you. Hello. Thank you. Thank you, brother. Taking such good care. Appreciate it. Yeah, they're, they've been watching over us and uh, we're, we're meeting the whole army here today. So it's pretty sweet. <laughs> so we've got the other captain of the train. Salam alaikum. Ka Captain, eh? Uh, yeah, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Thank you so much. Hello. Salam alaikum. We're here with the captains, El Capitan and El Capitan. We're going to be cruising down to Basra and uh, we're excited for the trip. Adnan. Adnan. And safe. 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 Nice to meet you. Safe and Adnan. Nice to meet you. Alright, Yalla bro. Yalla. You got ticket? Pretty sure. Yep, got my ticket. We paid 25,000 Iraqi dinar for each ticket which is I can never get my conversions right maybe $15 and uh, we go this way eh? shukran Habibi ah, okay so we're doing a dog sniffer yeah it's almost boarding time guys thought it was boarding time a second ago when we got up but it's just the next step here which is a quick dog sniffing on the bags and then we're gonna be getting on the train so uh, yalla we'll see you on there just a general rule of thumb guys don't wear shorts to the train station because you're not allowed to. I can't really tell if we still need to put any on at the moment, but we went to our bags to get them and the, the other military that's watching over us said, no, it's fine. So maybe we got to put them on once we get to the train. But just a rule of thumb, don't show these bare uh, pasty, pasty legs, cover them up. Our bags have been freed. Let's grab them and yell out to the train. Here they are. Oh, it gets heavier every time I lift it. Ah, uh, tickets, eh? Ah, the Lihum here? What if I? We're yelling to the train. Thanks to these guys for helping us. Shukran, Habibi. So this is the uh, secret tight passage through here. So that is the train. We were waiting for it uh, this whole time, and it was here. So we'll drop you in uh, Samara. Samawa. Samawa. Yeah, we'll we'll drop you in Samawa, and then we'll keep going to Basra. Yeah. Which cabin do we go to? All the way back. Oh. Oh. Number seven. Ah, we're going to number seven. Ah, uh, oh, so we go on the side near oh, seven. Oh, we go on this one. Oh, oh, next one. All right, we got our escort going and we're going this way. That's our guy right there, taking us safely to the right car. Thank you, brother. And this is us. Ah, okay. See you guys. Bye. And this one looks like us. And here's the dorms. All right. Sleeper train, this is it. Oh. And, oh. Hopefully that gun doesn't shoot me in the leg. <laughs> I agree. Yeah, AK, AK yeah, that AK-47, the barrel of the AK-47 just rubbed against me. Oh, this way. Oh, we're going this way. I'm after back out. Like, He's in reverse. Salam alaikum. Oh, we're crossing trains. All right, we're in number... Oh. And we're turning around again. No idea. Oh, and y'all into the next one? All right, shukran. Looks like some of these windows have been shot out. Oh, wow. And we're lost. Oh. All right. It might be the first guys are right, number six. Yeah, I think so. Ah, uh, number seven, here we go. And got the suitcase in. All right, and there's, that looks like the bathroom right over there. Going through here for take two. And this must be ours. Ah, shukran, shukran. 
Apple, apple, apple. Oh, eh. Take it. Okay. These Shukran. two. Shukran. Okay. Perfect. Looks comfy. Ah. Oh, they slide out. Thank you, Shukran. Guys, we've made it. Here's more of an official tour of this place. We've got two beds up here, two beds below. We even have power outlets down here, so that is great news. I'm trying to figure out if we have lights. Oh, there we go. Oh, nice little light there. Does it stay on? Maybe a little bit. TV. Looks like we got a call button, an SOS button, so in case we need our military friend, we can click that. I don't know what this power button does. Maybe it turns. Oh, that's how you turn the TV on. See, we had a call button and volume, so pretty sweet little cab. And we shall see if we have this place to ourselves or not. So inshallah, we don't have any neighbors. I'm gonna take one of these beds up here and turn down here to a nice little workstation to yeah. enjoy. Here's our buddy, Salam Habibi. The door closes too, so it turns into a uh, nice little private cabin, which will get us down to Basra around 7 a.m. At least that's what the schedule says, so maybe we'll get there at uh, 9 a.m. Because someone was telling us it's 14 hours in the train versus seven hours in the car. So that probably includes quite a few stops because of our buddies we met earlier today, they're one of the stops. So I'm sure we'll probably stop in many of the big cities. But the good news is, is back here in the sleeper cab, well, I guess the train's not going yet, but you really can't hear the loud engine from here when we were walking past, it was super noisy. So inshallah, it'll be quiet and enjoyable the whole way down. But if not, it's still awesome to be on here. Our buddy from the military right there, he just uh, pointed out a thing of tea and said, come with us. So. Yalla bina, bro. Yalla. All right, we're going this way with our buddy. We're going to the specialty cabin, right? Maybe we're going to the captain's lounger. I think there's a cafeteria somewhere in here. Oh, it's a big train. Oh, there's a kitchen. And we're coming up. Oh, there's a cafeteria. All right. Oh, we got some snacks and tea. This is where the magic happens. Wow, strawberry, yeah. mini cakes. Oh yeah, a little bit of everything, the good stuff. Cheers, queso. Oh, he's taking over the vlog. Alright. Hey guys. He's filming Luke. Salam. Oh, oh, hey, that's a good video. Yeah. Salam alaikum. Salam. With my friends from Iraq. Alright guys, the train is now moving. We're getting... Oh. We're getting wobbled around. Oh. Alright. The master's cabin. Good chai. Chai, chai. Chai, perfect. Chai, chai. Chai, Hey, hey, hey. Enjoying a nice tea here. <laughs> We're in the uh, general's cabin here and uh, having a good time. How do I look? Good? Zane tea. Zane tea. Zane tea. Is this one ours? He's doing a uh, thorough inspection through my photos or he's just looking at him for fun. Yeah, you look at him. Uh, he's, he's offering me whiskey in front of a police officer. I told him only in America I'm having whiskey, not here. Yeah, whiskey. He wants whiskey. I know you want the whiskey, don't you? Yeah, whiskey. He wants the whiskey. Whiskey. He's trying to convince me. Shukran for the Mai. Okay. Uh, only to the room. Room. Uh, and uh, give the money. Uh, and get the money. For a okay, for money. Uh, money. Okay. How much? How much? How much? Thirteen. Uh, Thirteen. 13 dinars. 13. I'll open up my handy dandy police wallet. <laughs> <laughs> and so 13. I only got a 25 spot. Is a 25 ski gonna work? Yeah? Alright, that'll that'll work, yeah? Alright. Sweet, we just bought our tickets again. That's your grand. Ah, ah, nice. He showed us how to lock it. Eh. So we're safe okay. then. Shukran. Good luck. Okay, bye. Oh, geez. What a day. This is one of those travel memories that'll go down in history. I'm just realizing, like, thank God the army told us to get all these snacks. Because I don't know if there's actually food. You said you saw in a video there's food. Well, that was the cafeteria area. Mm. And I, saw, I did have, like, chicken and stuff, though, in the fridge. Ah, so you get something then. It's about 10 p.m. now, so we've been on the train for a couple hours, and you know the military have been treating us really well. And so Luke and I were just sitting here. I was on the phone with the airline to change my flight, and like this thing locks, um, but it can still open to about that much. And so the the guy from the army uh, had opened it this much. He's like, "Open, open!" I was like, "Hold on, hold on!" I was trying to signal him I'm on the phone, and I don't think he understood. So like as a joke, like he puts his pistol through the door. I'm like, "Whoa!" whoa, whoa. Luke and I are both tweaking, so we pulled the door open. And as he walks in, he's holding the gun up to my leg. And he like, you know, obviously he's doing it as a joke, but like you never hold a pistol up to someone. So like, 
that tweaked me out so much. And then he was like, tell me to put pants on and like that I need to come out there. And I was like, all right, whatever. I thought maybe he was inviting me for another tea. And so like we walked past the cabin, we were in having a tea. And then like, there's all these uh, people sitting in the car and he's like, ah, oh, American, American. Like, at first, you know, it seemed nice at first because like he was telling me to say hello to like, you know, like the women and the children, which I did. And then like they, were, they started asking me for something. I, I don't know. And then he like pulled me along. We went to like another car and then another car. And we would like stop to someone because maybe he thought I needed something. Maybe it was just a massive miscommunication because like it was all in like good fun. and. But like we were walking through these cars that had like 30, 40, 50, maybe 60 people in them, super, super full. And you went on the camera. Yeah, yeah, and oh yeah, and he told me not to bring the camera with. Yeah, like we're walking through there and he's like, I guess he was looking for English speakers and then he would find someone that maybe spoke a few words and then they'd be like, what do you need? And I was like, uh, well, I'd write on their phone, like, I don't need anything. I don't know what I'm doing here. And then we went through like another couple cars and I was like trying to pull away and he was like grabbing my hand and like pulling me like further and further away. So I probably went through, I don't know, maybe six cars, and I'm like, come on, like, I really want to go back, and I, uh, you could probably tell in my face that I was, like, starting to get really thrown off that we're getting to the end of the train, because, I mean, I have no idea what anyone's saying, and, like, people are yelling a bunch of stuff in Arabic, it was intense, then he brought us back here, and I translated on my phone, and showed him, like, uh, I don't want to walk around the train, he's like, oh, okay, and then I said, I want to sleep, he's like, oh, okay, and then he left right away, so I don't think they meant anything negative about it, it's just really threw me off right now. The gu I mean, I probably wouldn't have been as tweaked out if the gun wasn't, didn't just come in, yeah, because like that had my anxiety <laughs> levels. I don't know if I've ever had a gun held up to me like that. Actually, no, I definitely not. I've not had a gun like that. <laughs> and that thing was loaded. I didn't mention that. He literally dropped the clip and showed that there was a bullet in it, and then he took the empty one and he, sh and he like pretended, it, like he pulled the trigger multiple times at the window. <laughs> and like obviously it was empty, but like you never know if a bullet gets jammed in there, so. Just a little sketch. All right, it's about time to get some rest. No lights, so we're doing uh, COVID masks to sleep. Yeah. Good night, guys. So we gotta work with what we can sometimes. See you when we probably get woken up by a uh, 5 a.m. pounding on the door. So good night until then. All right, guys, so we just made it here. It's about 4.30 a.m. So I guess people saying it takes 14 hours to get here isn't so accurate. We got here quicker than uh, expected. We got a knock about 15 minutes ago, and we didn't have any other disruptions outside of that. So I guess now we're in Basra. What do we do at 4.30 a.m. in Basra? I have no idea. Maybe find a hotel? Shukra. I'd be very curious to know if the train always arrives in the middle of the night like this. It's such a random time. Or if we just had a speedy captain. Busy day down here in Basra. Quite lively. Next to Bas. Hello guys. What's going on with you? Oh, oh, English. Yes. Yeah. English. Yeah. Perfect. Shway, 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 Arabic. Salam alaikum. Habibi. How much? Oh, making extra money. Five thousand. Yalabina. All right, this is Basra. Oh, we're going to the locals side. We made it in the cab. All right, we're cruising to uh, Basra. How far did it seem away on the map? That I didn't actually uh, figure out. <laughs> I guess the price is most important. We're getting it for a solid five thousand. That's Come. seven k's away. 7Ks, okay, so we're not too far. Apparently Basra is a pretty decent sized city. We've got an international airport here. Oh, yeah, I was able to get a direct flight to Beirut. But that's pretty much the train cruise. Not much else to tell you guys other than that. It was a pretty nice experience overall. Like I said before, I thought it was gonna be like 14 hours, but um, maybe total time from when we actually got to the train station at like 2 p.m. yesterday until arriving here at four, it was 14 hours. But actual train time was like seven, p.m. to 4 a.m. 4.30 a.m. So if you're taking the train, just know there's a bit of a variance on uh, when you'll actually arrive. So it was a good time and uh, yeah, met some really nice military people outside of uh, having a, a gun pointed at me. Uh, you know, I'd say it was a pretty great experience. The military loved us. I just don't think the guy even realized like the joke he was doing. Great train ride and uh, good experience. And so in the next video, guys, we'll be showing you more of Basra or showing you the uh, first impressions of Basra. So uh, 
Can't wait to see you guys then. And as always, thanks so much for watching. If you want to see more videos, both here in Iraq and all around the world, make sure you hit that subscribe button below. And if you enjoyed this video, guys, smash that like button, and I'll see you guys in the next one.